we are here in Burnside, Arizona, home of the Ganado Hornets for the AZ Prep Showcase. And we're right here at the Ganado Pavilion. About to go inside now. As you can see, we're here at Burnside, Arizona. And right here is the Ganado Pavilion, home of the Ganado Hornets. And over here is the Aquatic Center. And down there is the football field. <laughs> See, I'm gonna enter here. Hi, I'm Pete Bernardo with Arizona Preps with my guy Dean Bean. Um, we're in Ganado today doing the Arizona Preps Northern Arizona Individual Showcase. Um, the best players on the reservation are here. So I'm playing their last games. It's going to be a show. Thank you. Come out and watch. Appreciate it. Let's go. We are here at the Hornet Pavilion. Good night, Hornets. And I've never quite shown this arena yet, but yeah, this is the Hornet Pavilion, home of the Ganado Hornets. And as you can see, they're having the All-Star Showcase today. This is one of the largest facilities on the reservation. I'd say, uh, yeah, this is one of the largest facilities. Not quite as large as the Wildcat Den in Trinley or the Winderout Fighting Scout Event Center. But yeah, this is one of the largest facilities on the reservation. One of the top three. I'm not sure how the order goes, but yeah, this is quite honestly one of the biggest facilities. Before they had Chinley or Winderock, the arenas, they used to host the 3A North Regional here, I believe, one time. Yeah, I believe they held this arena. I believe they held the regional here on one occasion. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. So yeah, this is the facility. As you can see, players are shooting around, getting ready to start the game and momentarily. So yeah, if you haven't been here, I suggest you come out to the Ganado Hornet Pavilion. One of the biggest facilities on the reservation, along with Winderock and Ganado. Along with Winderock and Chinley, <laughs> my mistake. But yeah, let me find a seat here real quick. While we're going to Team Harris. Roberto Flores, 3A North Regional Co-Player of the Year and he just wrapped up an incredible basketball season and was in the state championship game. What has the experience been like, Roberto? It's just been all fun. I just hope to keep moving forward with his basketball stuff. So. Yeah, for sure. So, how, what was your reaction to winning uh, Player of the Year? Sure. Yes, sir. So, how was that game like upsetting the Coolidge? Uh, that was fun just because of what they did to us last year. But yeah, it was fun beating them. I mean, 
Yeah, for sure. So we need to talk about the let's talk about the overtime victory over ALA Ironwood. For sure. It's a whole experience like playing at Phoenix Coliseum. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't really like it, but it was fun playing in the championship game. Yeah, for sure. Roberto Fuller is here. We're about to watch him ball out in this AZ Prep showcase, I believe it's called. Action about to start momentarily. As you can see, the boys walking down there. That was 
Coach Andrew Reed, three times state champion from the Rock Point Lady Cougars. Yes. So, you just won a championship recently, Mr. Reed. Can you give us details about that? Uh, it was it's very awesome. I mean, it's unbelievable for me you know, to win the, the, the third title. So, But it took a lot of work, a lot of challenging, so we got to overcome. So, by all that, you know, winning the third title is, is pretty awesome. So, it's, it's very uh, rewarding, and I'm blessed, I think. The group that I had, so it was really awesome. Yes, sir. You built a wonderful. You built a good. Uh, you built a good dynasty at that point these last few years, and I know that the pandemic, missing a season, must have had a toll on. Must have not had a toll on you guys because you guys got right back to work in the season after a year of missing out on basketball. Yeah, like it seems that we know. But then I think we could have won another state title that year, but you know we kind of took it. We kind of picked up where we left off, and uh, we told ourselves we got to go back and, and, and do what we got to do. So, and that's what we did. We picked up where we left off and went for the, the second title. And then after that, you know, we say hey, let's go for the third title, which we did. So, which was really good. It's wonderful. Well, hopefully, I'll get to cover some more of your games with my video work in the near future. Yes, yes, we'll, we'll be around. Um, I'll be in Rock Point. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep fighting and keep going as, as best as we can, so. Good talk. Sessions in here. Finally got a fragment. And then just right here and then they'll bring it up to Okay. <laughs> there it is. There it is, the fried bread. got my fried bread. Let's go. Time to get set to film the second half. Yep. Got my boy, he's all Brandon. Roberto out there. Uzi. Was able to get Brandon on the vlog. We got Uzi, we got Roberto on here. Yeah. You know, check out some highlights um, for on Tyreek film. Watch some of Tyreek films, highlights on his Instagram and check out his pictures. Homeboy does a wonderful job. Really wonderful job. Well, I better go get sit situated. So yeah, go check out Tyreek Films on his YouTube channel or on his Instagram. So yeah, I'm just doing a cheap plug for Tyreek Films. Go check out Homeboy's YouTube, uh, Instagram page. Go sit back down. Film this first game here. Boys action. Game's almost over. Really close game. Players, we want the top players, so I'm, I'm picking what I think is the top player, Pete Mountain, we talked about it, and uh, I'll brand it by Joe, MVP. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, just some stats for Al Brandon. Uh, he had uh, 57 points in two games. I, I'm not sure how many assists he had tonight, but the other night he had nine. Uh, so the guy's an all-around player, lots of rebounds. 
So give him a hand. Uh, he's, you know, I mean, the guy dropped 40 or 60 in my front row. Give him a hand. And, uh, this side, you got a bunch of fields. Where you at? You went off, man. Where you at? I can't see it. Yeah, we had a great game tonight. Everybody played great. Good KC, you know. KC had a great game. Go on, man. Come on, man. Go for him, man. For us and everybody, uh, I probably missed a bunch of people. Hey, this kid right here, Tyrick Fields, up and coming. Like, you guys got to look at his stuff. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, I don't know where Mr. Uh, Mr. Ricardo or the unbelievable photographer. Andrea Bernardo over there. She's our. Uh, she keeps the train rolling right there in the corner. Give her a hand. I guess I went, oh, L.A. The GOAT right here. The GOAT. L.A. Williams. Yeah. Zyra Mia, the best scorekeepers around. Now Brandon gave him 20 bucks to give him extra points today. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But thank you guys, everybody be safe, have a great trip home, and uh, appreciate you, thank you. You guys, let's get CK to go ahead for organizing a big scout for Yogi Puyoke for the Reservation Schools, and he's a scout, he did a great job. You guys want to understand how hard it is to put the events like this on, and give him a hand. I want to give each and every one of you a hand, all you fans that came out to support Give yourself a hand. Give yourself a hand. Again, without you getting into them 5 o'clock or maybe 4 o'clock, and I guess out here you might have to come at like 3 because you live so far out 3 in the morning to get to practice. You all are the MVPs. And I just want to, and I want to thank you for allowing me to be crazy. That's all I do. I'm crazy. I didn't take my pills this morning, so I was able to act up. Thank you, whatever your destination may be, have a safe journey home. I want to see you again, and I look forward to coming back. Phyllis, I'm with Arizona Preps, uh, scout and writer, uh, up here covering the 3A North and 3A East teams, and uh, just uh, had a great time with these kids, getting them out there, getting their names out there, helping them uh, get noticed for college and everything, and uh, just really happy to you know be part of it. And uh, first year doing this event, I think it's going to be a great thing for the kids. Yeah. So thank you guys very much. I appreciate you.